exclusive contract from Felu Novel Network Novel. Daming. Self-exposed as a fake eunuch, the Empress Dowager is ecstatic during his travels, Lu Yu arrived during the Tianqi period of the Ming Dynasty and became a fake eunuch in the harem. However, by an accident, Lu Yu's fake eunuch identity was exposed and coincidentally discovered by a passing Empress Dowager in the harem. Ding, congratulations to the host and Empress Dowager for revealing their fake eunuch identity and obtaining the Rainflower Field template. Faced with the temptation of the Empress Dowager in the harem and the rewards from the system, Lu Yu embarked on a shameless path of self-destruction. Ding, congratulations to the host and Empress for revealing their fake eunuch identity and rewarding them with 3,000 Snow Dragon Cavalry. Ding, congratulations to the host and Princess for revealing their fake eunuch identity and rewarding the Flame Spirit Lady. Ding, congratulations to the host and the Noble Consort. Lu Yu's self-proclaimed identity as a fake eunuch drove the entire imperial concubine crazy. Emperor Tianqi fell seriously ill and many concubines were pregnant. However, Prince Xi and Zhu Yujian attempted to kill many concubines and seize the throne. Lu Yu stepped out of the Tianqin palace and declared to the world, stop pretending. In fact, I am a fake eunuch, and their children are mine. From today on, I want to be the emperor. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 001 Fake Unix Without a system, how can we mess around? You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 001 Fake Unix no system, how can we mess around? New Book Seeking Flowers, Daming In the fifth year of Tianqi, June Mixed Tang Si In a eunuch's resting room Lu Yu sat on the hard wooden window, staring blankly at the sunlight shining through the wooden door and window paper. After waking up, Lu Yu found himself in a strange environment. It's been three days. It has been three days already. Lu Yu was convinced that this was not a dream. But this is too fucking bullshit. What situation is it? This is all. Lu Yu let out a weak moan. The matter is clear. Lu Yu knew he had traveled through time. And at this time, he is still in the palace. After three days of understanding, Lu Yu also learned about his current situation. Now is the Tianqi period of the Ming Dynasty. That is the era of Zhu Yuxiao, the most famous carpenter emperor in the history of the Ming Dynasty. At the same time, there was a prominent figure in this era who was even more famous than Zhu Yuxiao. Supervisor of rights, eunuch in charge of printing, supervisor of the East Factory, 9,000 years old, Wei Zhongxian. Upon learning all of this, Lu Yu was blinded at the time. And none of this is the most important. Most importantly, Lu Yu realized that he did not have the welfare of a traveler, a powerful system. And he also carried a burden that he usually regarded as proud capital. You should know that this is the harem. Eunuchs undergo physical examinations at regular intervals. Thus, it can be concluded whether eunuchs have emerged from scratch. Three days, there are still three days left before the physical examination begins. If that were the case, then Lu Yu would not be a fake eunuch. At that time, he will inevitably become a true eunuch. There is no system. No background. Still a fake eunuch in the harem. Lu Yu felt like he was done. Three days later, one size fits all, and then he will become a real eunuch. Thinking about his tragic fate, Lu Yu couldn't help but curse his mother. Dog Day, what about the agreed-upon benefits for travelers and the agreed-upon system? Without the system, you can't leave it here for me. Damn it. Lu Yu continued to curse at his mother, but it was of no use. While Lu Yu was pondering what he should do. Suddenly, a panicked eunuch ran over the door. The eunuch hurriedly pushed them open, then turned around and leaned against the door, panting heavily, leaning against the wooden door behind him. 
it seems like I'm afraid something might rush in. Lu Yu knows this person, whose name is Xiao Hai. It is a young eunuch who lives in the same room as Lu Yu. What's going on? You're in a panic. Lu Yu looked at the panicked little Haizi and asked. Xiao Haizi lowered her head and gasped heavily, then reached out to point behind her. Just now. Little Mosquito went to check and was taken away by the Xin Xing Si's personnel. Then he was pulled to the back alley and directly executed with a cane. Dead, the little Mosquito is dead. I was beaten to death alive. Lu Yu listened for a moment. Beat. Beat to death. Xiao Haizi nodded. Little Mosquito, originally named Chen Wen. Just because he became a eunuch in the palace, he abandoned his surname and only left a one character. It's called Xia Wenzi, and Xia Wenzi sounds like a little mosquito, so she gave it a nickname. When he woke up in the morning, Lu Yu also saw a small mosquito and said to go for a physical examination. Why was he killed right now? Why was the little mosquito killed for what? asked Lu Yu. At this moment, Xia Haizi only changed a bit and spoke up. I heard that the eunuch at the Shin criminal department said that it was a small mosquito that had grown again. I just need to start over this matter again, after all, it used to be the same before. The worst thing is to be sent out of the palace and to the clothes washing bureau. But this year at the age of 9000, orders have been issued that anyone who grows a little bit will be executed with a cane. Upon hearing this, Lu Yu trembled immediately. Looking down between my legs, I felt a chill. This is not as simple as growing a little bit. This is a big, big thing. Lu Yusin said to lie down. Wei Zhongxian, this old Yin Bai. If you want to die, you're all eunuchs, right? This product is really vicious enough. But what should we do? Run. Where to run? I have neither a system nor martial arts skills. This is the palace, not the market. It's just as difficult to go out as to come in. What should we do then? I can't let anyone slaughter me. For days, there are only three days left. Just as Lu Yu was thinking, a call came from outside the door. The voice is sharp and delicate, and it sounds like a eunuch. A few little brats from the mixed hall master inside have come out. The holy lady needs to take a bath and prepare quickly. Chapter 002 Empress Dowager, Seal the Moon. Dot. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 002 Empress Dowager, Seal the Moon. New Book Seeks Flowers. Mixed Tang Si. Belongs to one of the four divisions in the harem. Supervisor bathing. To put it simply, it's the one who manages the bathhouse. There are many nobles in the palace. From emperors to empresses, concubines, empresses, and princesses. This kind of person can't just take a shower by themselves. But it is the responsibility of specialized personnel in the palace. Lu Yu happens to be a eunuch of the mixed hall department. Belonging to the type that cannot be left small anymore. That's the kind of boiling water, lifting and stabbing. Moreover, Lu Yutsai has been here for three days and is not familiar with these things at all. I haven't even seen a big shot or anything like that. Not to mention the Holy Lady. Lu Yu has a rough idea of who the Holy Lady is. After all, Lu Yu still knows some about history. The great eunuch referred to the Holy Lady as the Hakka clan, with the guest imprinting the moon. That is, the current Empress Dowager. Although Koinue was the Empress Dowager, the Emperor was not born to Koinue. Koinue is just a wet nurse of Zhu Yuxiao. Being able to transition from a wet nurse to the position of Empress Dowager is clearly not a simple role for Koinue. Don't be in a daze, hurry up and leave. If it delays the holy lady's bath, we'll all be unable to eat and walk around. The little mosquito is gone. I don't know who the holy lady will have to serve and rub her back this time. Little Heisey, leaning against the door, muttered as she turned to tidy up the emotions on her face. In this harem, 
it is normal for someone to die. Not to mention a little eunuch. Work needs to continue. Just a few words can already be considered a moment of remembrance. Under the urging of Zaya Heise, Lu Yu and Zaya Heise walked out of the mixed hall office together. This is still Lu Yu's first time stepping out of the mixed hall office. Go to Xianan Palace with Lu Yu and Xiao Heise, where the Holy Lady Ku Inue is located. Dozens of eunuchs and palace maids also left together. Everyone looked down at their toes and followed the person in front of them with their heads down. Only Lu Yu himself turned his head and looked around, looking at the vast harem around him. The so dot called harem does not represent the imperial palace. The imperial palace is the imperial palace, and the harem is the harem, the two are not the same. The imperial palace is the place where the emperor usually resides and works. And all the women living in the harem are female relatives. There are some underage unmarried princesses, as well as concubines, empresses, and empresses. Besides the imperial palace and harem, there is also an imperial city. The imperial city is the place where many ministers work. It is also one of the important places for guarding the imperial palace. Dozens of eunuchs and palace maids from mixed court officials arrived at Xianan Palace together. Then walked towards a separate courtyard in the backyard of Xianan Palace. At this time, it is June and the weather in the capital is hot. In the backyard of Xianan Palace, there is a pool made of white marble. With the gentle breeze caressing, ripples and ripples rose on the water surface. The pink gauze curtains around the pond. The palace maids picked buckets in advance and carefully selected the petals to sprinkle in the pool. Suddenly, the fragrance of flowers overflowed. But you quickly brought the hot water, and the holy lady will come soon. A eunuch in charge stood by the water pool to command. Zaya Heise and Landiu walked towards a palace that was boiling water. As Lu Yu walked, he observed around. It is rumored that the guest printed moon is extremely beautiful. However, Lu Yu has only heard of it and has not seen it. However, Lu Yu doesn't care about what the guest imprinted moon looks like. What Lu Yu is concerned about now is how he can get by in three days. If we can't get by, we'll probably be beaten to death by the thugs. Holding two buckets of hot water in hand. More than ten eunuchs held two buckets of hot water and walked towards the direction of the pool. Each one looks very difficult. It's actually Lu Yu. Tall in stature, two buckets of hot water floated lightly in Lu Yu's hands. As buckets of hot water pour into the pool. A hot air suddenly rose from the water surface. Under the influence of hot air, the fragrance of the petals becomes stronger. After finishing all of this, the eunuchs of the mixed hall office stood facing the wall with their heads down. Don't look around, be careful not to be punished by noble people. Standing next to Lu Yu, Xiao Haizi looked around and reminded him. Ku Lu Yu just wanted to turn back. I saw a group of more than ten people coming towards the pool. The leader is a young lady dressed in a golden phoenix robe with a long tail drag. A dozen or so maids following behind the noble woman held the tails of their skirts in their hands. The distance was still far, and Lu Yu did not see the appearance of the noble woman clearly. However, it can also be guessed that the woman should be a saint and a guest of the moon. At this moment, Xiao Haizi standing on the side pulled at Lu Yu's sleeve. Lower your head quickly, you can't look. If you're caught, you'll be executed with a cane, Xiao Haizi quickly whispered. Xiao Haizi is speaking and talking. Lu Yu saw that the saint, the human guest Inu, who had already arrived at the edge of the pool, had already grabbed him. Then, under the service of the maid, he took off the golden phoenix robe. Exposed the white profanity clothes inside. Chapter 003 Rubbing Your Back Sheng Ho Kusher, Beautiful and Dynamic. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 003 Rubbing Your Back. Sheng Ho Kusher, Beautiful and Moving. New Book Seeks Flowers. Lu Yu, with his back facing the pool, could only hear the sound of gentle splashes of water. 
There were also the busy footsteps of some maids. The eunuchs were all facing the surrounding walls, and not a single one dared to turn back. In the pool. The guest imprinted Moon, who was wearing only a white profanity robe, leaned against the edge of the pool. With white marble on his head, a pair of beautiful eyes closed slightly. Ziawenzi, let him come and rub my back for me. The saints and guests who lean against the edge of the pool and pillow their heads with white marble to seal the moon. No one around answered. Ko Inue, who frowned slightly, opened her eyes. A eunuch in charge of the mixed hall department hurriedly lowered his head and arrived in front of Ko Inue. Report to Lady Sheng, Ziawenzi is dead, the eunuch in charge lowered his head and said. Dead. Ko Inue frowned and said, How did you die? The eunuch in charge rolled his eyes and then answered, Report to the Holy Lady, I heard it seems to be due to some illness. After being driven out, he died. Lu Yu, who was facing away from the wall, naturally heard this statement. Ziawenzi was clearly killed by a stick. But in the steward's mouth, he actually said he died of illness. Lu Yu only thought a little before guessing the reason behind it. In the case of Ziawenzi, the crime did not end in death, and the most tragic thing was being sent to the clothes washing bureau. But since Ziawenzi died, there must be a reason for his death. Xiao Haizi said it was ordered by Wei Zhongxian. Is it really because Ziawenzi has grown again? Lu Yu thinks it may not be. Not to mention anything else, the fact that it has grown again is already a legend. In this regard, the death of Ziawenzi is likely related to Kuinue. There is a saying. The reason why Wei Zhongxian was able to develop in the palace back then was due to the support of the sage and his guests, Yin Yu. Ko Inue helped Wei Zhongxian surpass Wei Zhongxian's recommender Wei Dynasty. In the end, Wang En, the eunuch who was in charge of the official seal of the imperial household department, was removed, and he finally sat on the top chair of the eunuch. Now Wei Zhongxian is not in the palace. Many things are beyond Wei Zhongxian's control. Perhaps Wei Zhongxian was afraid, afraid that Kuinue would support someone like him. So he cleared out those who posed a threat around Kuinue. If things were like this. That makes sense. Ziawenzi asked why he died. Because before, it was always Ziawenzi who served as a guest, Inu, and took a bath. There are no men in this harem some things it's hard to say. The more he thought about it, the more dangerous Lu Yu felt. If someone really discovers his identity as a fake eunuch. That's only a dead end. Regardless of the rules in the palace, Wei Zhongxian will definitely let him die. What should I do? Lu Yu's mind was muddy. Run, I'm sure I can't run. Hide, I definitely can't hide either. Where to hide such a big thing? There is only one way to survive. Wave your sword and go to the palace. Do you want to be Yu Buchuan? The journey of Dog Day, Wei Zhongxian of Dog Day. Why did I just cross to the harem? Lu Yu is now ready to cry without tears. On the other hand, Ku Inue did not express anything about Xiao Wenzi's death. Just a little eunuch. The least lacking in this palace is the eunuch. Well, I understand, but it's a pity for that handsome little appearance, said Ku Inue. The eunuch next to him immediately wiped the cold sweat off his head with his sleeve. Is that servant picking one for the holy lady? The eunuch asked tentatively. Ku Inue did not speak. But he turned his gaze to the little eunuchs who were bowing their heads towards the wall. Then, with his back to the wall, Lu Yu felt as if there was a gaze behind him. You, stand in the middle and turn around to show me the palace. The Saint Lady Ku Inue reached out and pointed to Lu Yu, whose back was facing the courtyard wall. However, Lu Yu had no idea that Ku Inue was referring to him. Until the eunuch in charge came behind Lu Yu and asked him to turn around. Lu Yutsai realized that he seemed to have been named. The reason why Lu Yu was selected is entirely because of his tall stature. It's completely different from those thin and small eunuchs. With a height of 185, Lu Yu has been working in the gym for years, 
making his body curve extremely perfect. Even if dressed in the attire of a eunuch, it cannot conceal the thick arms and strong chest muscles at all. At the moment when Lu Yu turned around, a pair of beautiful eyes widened. You, that's it. Come and rub my back for me. If you perform well, there will naturally be rewards in this palace. Ko Inue looked at Lu Yu, her eyes slightly lit up. Men like Lu Yu are extremely rare in the palace. Even if there is, it is a palace guard. I won't stay in the harem at all. The people in the harem are all fake men, just real eunuchs. Lu Yu's masculine appearance is extremely rare. According to rumors, the three treasures eunuch back then was a very masculine looking eunuch. Looking at Lu Yu, who was named by the Holy Empress and the Moon. The eunuch next to him lowered his voice and said, Learn to be smart. Don't be unaware of when and how you will die. The eunuch in charge only said one sentence. But Lu Yu already understood what it meant. Xiao Wenzi's lessons from the past. It seems that the eunuch in charge is intentionally reminding. But Lu Yu can't handle so much now. Damn it, he's also dead anyway. It's better to give it a try. Maybe we can still live. Fight it, whether it's dead or alive, watch it once. Thinking about it, Lu Yu walked towards the Holy Empress, Yin Yu. Chapter 004, Shi Gong. Almost exposed. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 004, Shi Gong. Almost exposed. New book seeks flowers. Most eunuchs walk with their legs sandwiched between them and taking small steps. But Lu Yu is different. In fact, as long as he is a normal man, he cannot walk like a eunuch. Lu Yu's figure, coupled with his masculine and handsome appearance, as well as his steps. More like a general from a prestigious family. There is a certain aura of a military general. Instead of being a eunuch walking with legs sandwiched between them in the palace. Lu Yu stood at the edge of the pool. What's your name? How come I've never seen you before in this palace? The beautiful eyes of Kuinue kept moving up and down on Lu Yu's body. Lu Yu also looked at Kuinue. If it weren't for the dense petals floating on top of the pool, one could still witness the underwater scenery with their own eyes. My name is Lu Yu, and I'm... Um, new here. Perhaps I haven't gotten used to the life in this harem yet. When Lu Yu spoke, he did not claim to be a servant. The eunuch, the steward of the mixed hall, standing aside, immediately frowned and glared at Lu Yu. Bold, in front of the holy lady, so bold, why don't you applaud? The sharp voice of the eunuch in charge made Lu Yu frown. On the other hand, the holy lady Kuinue in the water lifted a pure white jade arm and gently waved it. No problem, my palace really likes him. Let him come over to wipe my palace's back. If you perform well, this palace will naturally receive rewards. It depends on your own abilities. Lu Yu looked at the saint and the guest in front of him, Yin Yu. I couldn't help but think of the wealthy ladies from the magic city who I had seen on TV in my past life. However, compared to those wealthy ladies, Ku Inue is much younger and more beautiful. Emperor Tianxi Zhu Yuxiao was not born to the guest moon. And Ku Inue is just Zhu Yuxiao's wet nurse. In their early thirties, it is the time for spring peaches to ripen. Bright, plump, attractive, and delicious. In addition to that natural charm. Lu Yu almost couldn't control it. The eunuch in charge on the side didn't say anything when he saw the situation. But he lowered his head and retreated to the side. However, when looking at Lu Yu's gaze, it seemed like he was looking at a dead person. Lu Yu arrived behind Ku Inue. Naturally, palace maids came up with delicate silk specially designed for the saint lady to print the moon. Although Lu Yu hasn't given anyone a bath. But I have never eaten pork, and I have also seen pigs run. Lu Yu, who often takes baths, is naturally very familiar with the steps of rubbing baths. Looking up at the surroundings. 
It was discovered that whether it was palace maids, maids, or eunuchs, they were either facing the wall or bowing their heads. No one dares to look here. Lu Yu also felt relieved. Madam Saint, I'm going to start now, said Lu Yu. The guest Inue nodded and leaned his head comfortably against the white marble. A mouthful of warm fragrance was also exhaled from the mouth. Lu Yu calmed down, took a deep breath, and then gently rested on Ku Inue's shoulder. After a moment, Ku Inue showed a satisfied smile. Hmm, not bad. Where did you learn this technique? I feel my body is clear and anxious. The strength is moderate, unlike those useless people who have no strength at all. Unfortunately, if you were a healthy man, how could you please others? Ko Inua spoke while dishonestly reaching out to touch Landiu's forearm. Before crossing over, Lu Yu could be considered a top performer in the gym. The muscles on the body are well dot defined and full of tension. Add the protruding blood vessels. Always emitting powerful male hormones. Before crossing over, Lu Yu's walkway would attract the gaze of countless women. In this harem, there are not many others, but there are many women. And there are still many women like wolves and tigers. Ko Inue is over 30 years old, and he is also at the age of a wolf-like tiger. Facing a man like Lu Yu who was full of masculinity, he was currently fantasizing with his eyes closed. Lu Yu saw that Ku Inue had already placed one hand in the pool. The ripples of water rippled slightly. Lu Yu should even be passionate about it. This this is too revealing, isn't it? What left Lu Yu speechless was. He actually has I feel it now. Of course, these are all normal reactions. But this normal reaction didn't come at the right time. This is the harem. If you want people to see it, isn't it just a dead end? There's no need to wait three days for the physical examination. I'm afraid I'll be caught and pulled out and beaten to death. What's even worse is that at this moment, Koinue's hands were still groping around haphazardly. Lu Yu dared not move. If this were to happen, when Koinue opened her eyes, she would surely notice something. But if we just stay still, Ku In Yu will also find clues. What should we do? What should I do? Lu Yu panicked for a moment. However, just as Ku In Yue was about to discover it, a palace maid walked in in a panic. Report to the Holy Lady, Your Majesty says there is something important to summon the Holy Lady. The words of the palace maid interrupted the fantasy of Ku In Yu. Angry Ku In Yue opened her eyes. Drag this damn lowly maid down to this palace and whip her ten times, disgusting. The palace maid let out a mournful cry. He was carried outside the backyard by several eunuchs. Taking advantage of this gap, Lu Yu quickly stood up and hid on the side. Ko Inue turned her head to look at Lu Yu and smiled with satisfaction. You are very good, very good. From now on, you will take care of all the bathing in this palace. Go down, this palace will naturally have rewards. Lu Yu lowered his head, tightened his legs, and hastily nodded, saying in his heart that he was hanging. The eunuch, who was in charge of the mixed office, looked at Lu Yu with a gloomy gaze and sneered. I don't even know how to die, and I'm still fantasizing about rewards, he he. Chapter 005, The Dark Harem, The Execution of Wei Zhongxian you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 005 The Dark Harem, The Execution Order of Wei Zhongxian. New Book Seeks Flowers. When leaving the Xianan Palace, Lu Yu, Xiao Haizi, and a group of eunuchs returned to the mixed hall office. On the way, many palace maids and eunuchs looked at Lu Yu with envy. In this palace, though it is the emperor who has the final say, but it is not the emperor who can truly cover up the sky with one hand. And it was the saint lady who had just printed the moon. The emperor was young and had no intention of managing the harem. In this harem, one person is in charge of the full-screen guest printing the moon. If you want to say the largest one in this harem, it is Ku Yu. Not the emperor and empress. 
being able to be favored and valued by the Holy Lady's guest, Yin Yu. In the future, we will inevitably achieve great success. Many young palace maids have been secretly scrutinizing the landing feather. The meaning goes without saying. Apart from the palace maid, there was also a person constantly scrutinizing the landing feather. That is the eunuch in charge. Along the way, the eunuch always turned around and glanced at Lu Yu. But the gaze was not the envy and flattery of other eunuchs. But with a sneer. Lu Yu, I didn't expect you to be so lucky that you were selected by the holy lady for the first time. If you become successful, don't forget me. Xiao Haizi chattered incessantly beside Lu Yu. Eunuchs like them are all miscellaneous eunuchs with no rank. And the eunuch in charge in front of him is not a major eunuch either. It's just a third class eunuch. From a eunuch of the ninth rank, he is almost the kind who is not in the mainstream. But even so, in the harem, it is simple for a eunuch from the ninth rank to kill a miscellaneous worker without rank. There are also second-class eunuchs, first-class eunuchs, seventh-grade eunuchs in charge, and sixth-grade palace eunuchs online. Only those who have reached the fifth grade can be considered true eunuchs. That is, the eunuch in chief. Lu Yu lowered his head. There was no answer to Xiao Haizi's words. Lu Yu. Lu Yu. Xiao Haizi called out twice in a row, What are you thinking? Are you thinking about what reward the Holy Lady will give you? Don't worry, if the Holy Lady takes action, at least she will be a eunuch in charge of a mixed hall. Do you know 9,000 years old? At the beginning, Jiu Qianshui was pleasing the Holy Lady, and that's how he became Jiu Qianshui all the way. But you can't talk nonsense about this matter. Xia Haizi started chattering incessantly again. Lu Yu looked at Xiao Haizi beside him and smiled slightly. Rewards. It seems that the little Haizi in front of me is still very simple. It's not that easy to get around in this harem. The harem is known as the darkest corner. What kind of schemes and conspiracies can be presented here? Little eunuchs like them, who have no power, power, or background, are unlikely to die at any time. Xiaowenzi is the best proof. When I was just in Xianan Palace, the eunuch in charge had already warned me. If Lu Yu's inference is good. Xiao Wenzi was secretly poisoned by someone because he was appreciated by the Holy Lady Kuinue. And this person is likely to be the god of all eunuchs. Wei Zhongxian. Wei Zhongxian relied on the Holy Lady's guest seal to ascend to the throne. I am well aware of the means by which guests print the moon. And the warning just given by the eunuch in charge was not just empty blooded. It seems very likely that one has already been targeted. Lu Yu estimated that in the next one or two days, someone will inevitably come to trouble him. It's night. The eunuch who took Lan Diu to Xianan Palace during the day walked out of the mixed hall office. Then, in a garden in the harem, a superstition was handed over to a eunuch dressed in a red robe. Wearing a red robe, this is a service that only fifth grade eunuchs can wear. Sir, this person's name is Lu Yu, highly appreciated by the Holy Lady. And the Holy Lady said she wants to reward Lu Yu. The maid had already reminded him before, but he still didn't know what to do. The eunuch dressed in a red robe took the letter and nodded. Then it disappeared into the garden. After seeing someone leave, the eunuch in charge of the mixed hall office sneered. Is there anyone in this harem who claims to be in a higher position? You're a little eunuch who doesn't know what to do, and you're still trying to do it. I don't even know how to die. If you want to blame me, don't blame me, just blame yourself for not having the ability to see. As the eunuch in charge spoke, he placed the float in his hand on his arm and headed back towards the mixed hall supervisor. However, the eunuch in charge did not notice at all. Not far behind him, a figure dressed in black eunuch attire flashed by. Lu Yu stood behind a tree, his eyebrows furrowed and his gaze cold. Sure enough, I guessed well. Xiao Wenzi was killed by this guy. Damn it. Although I have confirmed my thoughts in my heart. 
However, Lu Yu has no signs of breaking through so far. It is known that someone is trying to kill themselves, but there is nothing they can do. Lu Yu couldn't help feeling a little flustered in his heart. Ko Inue, Wei Zhongxian these two names kept alternating in Lu Yu's mind. Suddenly, Lu Yu seemed to have thought of something. By the way, what did Ko Inu say during the day today? She said she wished she were a real man. How about? I'll just blow myself up. Chapter 006, Key to Breaking the Game, Self-Proclaimed Identity You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 006, Key to Breaking the Game, Self-Proclaimed Identity New Book Seeks Flowers Self-Destruct That's right. It's just self-destructing. This idea immediately appeared in Lu Yu's mind. I can't erase it anymore. The appreciation of Kuinua brought Lu Yu the risk of being killed ahead of time. In this dark harem. What Lu Yu wants is nothing. It's no different from a lamb to be slaughtered. The only card in hand that can be used now is only one. That's the guest printing month. Just while taking a shower, the words spoken by Kuinua inadvertently became the only life. Saving straw for Lu Yu. If I self accuse myself of being a fake eunuch, then Kuinue will definitely find a way to save my life. In this harem, the guest imprints the moon and covers the sky with one hand, enjoying luxurious clothing and food. To have status, to have status, to have wealth. The only thing missing is the same. Man a true man. Lu Yu knew very well that he was the only desire of Kuinue. But self-destruction can also become a double-dot-edged sword. If Wei Zhongxian were to know his identity as a fake eunuch, will you be more eager to take action? Or would Wei Zhongxian use other methods to deal with himself? This may not be without it. According to historical records, Wei Zhongxian was a ruthless person. The means of eradicating dissidents can be said to be varied. If Wei Zhongxian really realizes his threat, he will definitely do everything possible to eliminate himself. Sitting in the classroom, Lu Yu sank. What should we do then? Not self-destructing is death. If it explodes, it may even die faster. Damn it. Lu Yu is so anxious that he's going to curse his mother. The feeling of life and death being controlled by others really made Lu Yu feel suffocated. Sitting on the hard bed, Lu Yu sank terrifyingly. But the brain is thinking rapidly. Sometimes, when facing death, humans often unleash unprecedented potential. Lu Yu, who had been pondering for a long time, suddenly lifted his head. A name came to Lu Yu's mind. Xiaowenzi. Yes. It's Xiaowenzi. Yesterday, Xia Haizi said that the reason Xia Wenzi was killed was because she had grown again. It's growing again. Lu Yu suddenly realized something. The idea of self-explosion is correct. But one must master a certain degree. This degree is to not let anyone outside of Kuinue know that they are a fake eunuch. So why not let others know? If Kuinue explodes and spends all day with herself, she will definitely be discovered by others. Wei Zhongxian's eyeliner may be everywhere in the harem. So, it is necessary to both self-destruct and master an appropriate degree. Let the guest know and protect themselves. And not letting Wei Zhongxian know. Thinking of this, Lu Yu understood what he should do. So, Lu Yu immediately lay down and changed the quilt to nourish himself. Success or failure depends on this one move. If you don't succeed, you really have to become a eunuch. Lu Yu lay on a hard bed. Lu Yu, why haven't you slept yet? You still have to be on duty tomorrow. Little Heisey, who had flipped over, said in a daze. Lu Yu turned his head and glanced at Xiao Heisey, who was sleeping soundly. Xia Heisey, let me ask you something. Where does the holy lady usually go? Why are you asking this? Don't worry, don't worry. Since the holy lady values you, she will definitely summon you. 
Why are you in such a hurry? Lu Yu wished he could go up and give this guy a kick. If I'm not in a hurry, I'll go chase Xia Wenzi. Tell me quickly, if the news is correct, I won't forget you when I reach great success. Xiao Haizi lazily turned over again and turned her back to Lu Yu. I'm not sure, but I heard from Xia Wenzi before that the Holy Lady always goes to the forest garden in front of Xianan Palace recently. The forest garden in front of Xianan Palace. Lu Yu secretly nodded and took note. When I went to Xianan Palace today, I saw a forest garden. After receiving the definite news, Lu Yu closed his eyes. Early the next morning. After the sun rose, Lu Yu opened his eyes. Then he quietly slipped out and took a pee first. After all, he can't pee with others. So it can only be covert. After urinating, Lu Yu ran back and lay down again. Just this time, Lu Yu didn't sleep. But planning everything that needs to be done today. When all the eunuchs and palace maids in the harem got up, Lu Yu quickly dressed up and got up. While the palace maids and eunuchs were gradually leaving the room and the crowd was in chaos, Lu Yu slipped out of the mixed hall office. Then he walked all the way towards the garden in front of Xianan Palace. Fortunately, I didn't encounter anyone questioning me on the way. Upon arriving at the garden in front of Xianan Palace, Lu Yu found a rockery to hide behind. Lu Yu, who was hiding behind the rockery, began to close his eyes and recuperate. This moment lasted for over an hour. It was not until noon that Lu Yu was awakened by the sound of footsteps. Look through the cracks of the rockery. At a glance, Lu Yu saw the holy man wearing a phoenix robe and a phoenix crown, imprinting the moon. Here we go. Lu Yu immediately stood up and took a deep breath. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, Review Tickets. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by Review Tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comment section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by Review Tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comment section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by Review Tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comment section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by Review Tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. 
Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comments section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by review tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comments section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by review tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comments section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by review tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comments section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by review tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comments section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by review tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, please leave a message in the comments section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Little author's new book, Kneeling Online for Flowers, supported by review tickets. Your strong support is the greatest motivation for the author. 7 o'clock every day. Stable updates of 20,000 words per day, large quantity, and guaranteed quality. Another 1,000 flowers and one more. 500 evaluation votes plus one update. 10 monthly tickets plus one change. If you really like it, 
please leave a message in the comment section. If there are any opinions, the author will carefully read and consider adopting them. New books, newcomers, everything cannot be separated from the support of all the readers. The little author is clenching his fists here. Chapter 007 Self-disclosure of being a fake eunuch, guest printing of UU. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 007 Self-disclosure as a fake eunuch, Kuin UU is crazy. New book seeks flowers. In the garden. Kuinue was leisurely admiring flowers with several palace maids. The phoenix crown and rosy robe on her body set off the immensely noble aura of the guest's imprint on the moon. This has added a desire for men to conquer the already charming Kuinue. Unfortunately, there are no real men in this harem except for the emperor. Madam Saint, the flowers are blooming exceptionally brightly this year, they are really beautiful. However, it still doesn't shine as brightly as the Holy Lady. Compared to the Holy Lady, these flowers all paled in comparison. A palace maid following Saint Lady Kuinue sweetly complimented her. Perhaps I have listened too much to such words. Kuinue did not show any reaction. I just reached out and picked a very bright red rose blooming next to me. June is the season when roses are in full bloom. Bright and fragrant. The slender and fair Kuinyu held a bright red rose in her hand and gently placed it under her nose to smell the fragrance of flowers. This woman is like a flower. It takes someone to water and take care of it for a long time in order to be charming and charming. If there is no one to water and take care of it, it won't be long before it withers and fails. What about being good? Looking. I still want to be trapped in this deep palace. The palace maid heard the words of the guest printing the moon and felt a bit confused. This palace is a place that all women in the world aspire to. As long as you can live in this place. That is to say, luxurious clothing and food can also make family members shine together. Among the tens of thousands of palace maids in the palace, which one doesn't want to live in these seats of the Golden Wan Palace? Oh, by the way, what was the name of yesterday's eunuch? As she spoke, Ku Inue thought of Lu Yulai. The palace maid on the side quickly agreed, report to the holy lady that the young eunuch's name is Lu Yu and he is from the mixed hall department. Ku Inue, who was walking at the front, nodded. Well, not bad, very good. It seems to recall the scene from yesterday. Ku Inue, who was walking, couldn't help but stand still, then her legs tightened slightly, and Bei Chi bit her lower lip tightly. The fragrance of rose flowers in my hand suddenly became dull and tasteless. Let's go, go back, get ready. This palace needs to take a shower. Remember, call that little eunuch over. Ku Inue's eyes showed a longing expression. Lu Yu behind the rockery could hear clearly. He waited all morning. For this opportunity. How can one miss an opportunity right in front of them? So. Lu Yu behind the rockery let out a sigh. This sound immediately caught the attention of Ku Inue. Ku Inue, who was about to leave, immediately stopped and frowned as she turned around to check. Why does this sound so familiar to me? Ku Inue walked towards the direction of the rockery in confusion. Just a few steps away, I heard a rustling sound coming from behind the rockery. Next came Lu Yu's lowered voice. What should we do? We need to check in two more days. If discovered, wouldn't it be like being beaten to death? Hear Lu Yu's voice. Ku Inue has completely confirmed that the person behind the rockery must be Lu Yu. And Ku Inue was so clever that after just a few words, she knew what Lu Yu was saying. After all, I have been in the palace for so many years, and I have never seen anything like Ku Inue. Ku Inue immediately stopped the footsteps of the palace maids behind her. Then he waved his hand. Several palace maids applied for the retreat of Deep Grey. Ku Inue then continued to walk lightly towards the direction of the rockery. If it grows so much, it will definitely be discovered. What should I do? 
What should I do? Lu Yu's voice once again emanated from the rockery. When I was taking a bath for the holy lady yesterday, I already had a slight reaction. If it continued for so long, wouldn't it be necessary to fully recover? If you're caught, you'll definitely be kicked out. Listening to the murmurs behind the rockery. Koinue's eyes immediately showed an extremely eager gaze. Even the teeth of the scallops biting their red lips couldn't help but add a third of force. That expression was as if seeing a treasure. Even the bright red rose in my hand fell to the ground, and the guest imprinted the moon without feeling it. Behind the rockery, Lu Yu also saw through the gap that Kuinue was standing next to the rockery. When I saw the expression in Kuinue's face and eyes, Lu Yu knew he had made the right bet. Self explosion is the only way out. But you must master this degree well. Tell Kuinue that she is a fake eunuch. But it also makes the guest unable to be impatient. Because once Wei Zhongxian finds out about this matter, most likely, they will spare no effort to kill themselves. To prevent future troubles. So, Lu Yu knew he had to be careful in his actions. Because I don't even have the ability to protect myself now. However, just as Lu Yu finished speaking, unexpectedly, another voice rang out in my mind. Ding, congratulations on the host activation system. The self-destruct system has been activated, loading for host. Upon hearing the electronic synthesized sound in his mind, Lu Yu immediately froze in place. System. System. Lying trough. I actually have a system. It's just that I haven't been activated before. But what is this self-destructing system? While Lu Yu was pondering, the electronic synthesis sound in his mind rang out once again. Ding, congratulations to the host for self-accusing themselves as a fake eunuch in front of the Holy Lady Kuinua and obtaining the rain transformation field template. Lu Yu is simply foolish. So it's such a self-destructing system. Chapter 008 Hungry Guests Impress the Moon with Hot Eyes You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 008 Self-Exploding System Yuhua Tian Template New Book Seeks Flowers Ding, congratulations to the host for self-accusing themselves as a fake eunuch in front of the Holy Lady Kuinua and obtaining the Rain Transformation Field Template. Lu Yu is simply foolish. So it's such a self-destructing system. Starting from the day of crossing over. Lu Yu has been eagerly anticipating the system. But after waiting for three days, nothing happened. I thought it was really gone. So so this system needs to be activated on its own. Lu Yu exclaimed in his heart, feeling fortunate. It's so suspenseful. Fortunately, I thought of the path of self-destruction to save my life. Otherwise, wouldn't we have to drink hatred? In the end, I didn't know that I still had a system. Just it's just that this system doesn't sound too serious. Self-explosion. Is it true that only self-destructing identities can trigger system rewards? Or is it only when you self-expose your fake eunuch identity that you will initiate rewards? Lu Yu still can't figure it out. With the electronic synthesizer in Lu Yu's mind. Lu Yu also felt a huge change happening on his body. Hearing, vision, smell, and five senses were greatly enhanced in an instant. At this moment, Lu Yu, who was still standing in place, could even feel the heavy breathing of Kuinue, as well as a slight gasping sound. A stream of heat fills the body from top to bottom. The name Yuation is naturally known to Lu Yu. Extremely skilled in martial arts, cold-hearted, wise, decisive in killing. The feeling just now made Lu Yu conclude that his body must have undergone some kind of change after receiving the system reward. Glancing at a loose stone beside him, Lu Yu reached out and picked it up. Then hold it tightly. Click. The stone instantly turned into powder in Lu Yu's hand. Seeing this touch, Lu Yu was immediately stunned. Isn't this getting better now? What changes have occurred in the body can be studied over time. 
What is urgent now is to deal with the guest printing moon outside. Standing behind the rockery. Lu Yu, who strengthened the five senses, could lightly feel the changes in the guest imprint moon. At this moment, Ko Inue, standing outside the rockery, supported it with one hand. My body seems to be trembling slightly. My red lips are almost bitten open. Lu Yu knew that this was Ku Inue restraining herself. The degree of self-explosion has almost reached. You can't go too far. Outside, this is a mother wolf that is extremely hungry. No, I can't sit idly by. I can't die, go back first, I must find a way. Lu Yu muttered to himself, not forgetting to deliberately kick a nearby stone with his foot. The sound immediately alarmed the guests outside. The guest imprinted Moon's cheeks blushed slightly as she regained consciousness from her trance fantasy state. Then he dragged his long phoenix robe tail towards the distance. Watching the guest imprint the moon fade away. Lu Yu slowly walked out from behind the rockery. Pretend to be indifferent. Lu Yu, who came out from behind the rockery, saw the guest imprinted moon in the distance and approached with a face ready to bow. Ko Inue raised her hand slightly. Excuse me, why did you send me here if you're not on duty? Ko Inue asked. Although Lu Yu did not look up. But after being strengthened, the five senses clearly felt Ko Inue's gaze on him. As for that place, it goes without saying. But the fiery gaze on Lu Yu felt very clear. I, I. Lu Yu pretended to stutter. The palace maid on the side saw Lu Yu like this and immediately stepped forward to take responsibility. Seeing the holy lady not kneeling down yet, she dares to claim herself, how brave of me. Pa pa a crisp sound. Ko Inue continued to wave her hand. The golden phoenix robe swayed gently. The palace maid immediately knelt on the ground, covering her face. When I speak in this palace, where did I get you to interrupt? The palace maid kneeling on the ground trembled with fear. Quickly waved his hand and slapped his face hard a few times. While fanning and begging for mercy. I know my mistake, I know my mistake. Please spare my life, holy madam. Please spare my life, holy madam. Ko Inua didn't even glance at the palace maid. His gaze remained fixed on Lu Yu. If it weren't for my good mood today, I would definitely peel off your skin and let you know the rules. Get up now. Lu Yu, our palace is preparing to take a bath. You can go back and prepare for it. You'll come over later. Upon hearing what Ku Inua said, Lu Yu knew that the matter had been resolved. So he bid farewell and left in the direction of the mixed hall supervisor. Behind, Ku Inue's gaze remained hot. Mixed Tang Si. The steward from yesterday is currently in front of the classroom where Lu Yu is located. Behind him were five or six eunuchs with slightly muscular bodies. The eunuch in charge is called Zhao Zhong. White floating dust draped over the forearm. Looking down at Xiao Haizi who had been beaten up so badly. What about Lu Yuren? If a living person says no, then it's gone. Did he tell you where he went? If you don't speak up, our family has a hundred ways to make your life worse than death. Little Heisey, whose face was beaten like a pig's head, didn't know where Lu Yu had gone. It can only be shaking one's head in grievance and begging for mercy. Please spare your life, father. In law. I really don't know. As he spoke, he was thrusting blood out of his mouth. Zhao Zhong glanced at Xiao Haizi and sneered. He he, don't you say so, okay, then we'll let you know what life is better than death. Someone, drag this guy who doesn't understand the rules to the criminal investigation department. Speaking of the three words, Shen Xing Si, Xiao Haizi was immediately frightened and collapsed on the ground with no blood on his face. At this moment, Lu Yu walked in from outside the courtyard. Just saw and heard. What are you looking for me to do? I'm here. Chapter 009 Sweet Pets from the Guest Printing Moon New You are listening at Novel Full.audio 
Chapter 009, Sweet Pets from the Guest Printing Moon New Book Seeks Flowers Lu Yu walked into the small courtyard with a gloomy face. Previously, Lu Yu thought that these people would definitely come to find him. I just didn't expect it to be so fast. Fortunately, I took a step faster, otherwise the consequences would be unpredictable. What do you want me to do? I'm here. Lu Yu stood at the door. Seeing Lu Yu's little heisy, her eyes were filled with grievances. I want to ask, but I dare not. Zhao Zhong looked up and down at Lu Yu, chuckling coldly. Little kid, our family warned you yesterday, but you didn't listen. Do you know who can live long in this harem? It's not someone who has a backing, nor is it someone who has the ability. Only obedient people can live for a long time. Since you are disobedient, you must know the consequences. Zhao Zhong sneered and said, Do you think the holy lady can support you? He he, don't dream anymore. With so many eunuchs in the palace, would the holy lady care if one or two of them died? Xiao Wenzi learned from his past experiences, saying, You don't listen. Dot. The eunuchs following Zhao Zhong have already rubbed their hands. Meanwhile, Lu Yu stood still and looked coldly at Zhao Zhong. To be honest, even without obtaining the Yuhua Field template, Lu Yu was not at all inferior to these guys. Not to mention the template for Yuhua Tian now. Now Lu Yu is not afraid because he knows. If something happens to oneself, the holy lady Kuin Yu will definitely do everything possible to help her. So, Lu Yu is now confident and fearless. Lu Yu, be honest and come with me to the Xin Xing Si. You can also reduce your physical suffering. If not. He he, Zhao Zhong sneered. Lu Yu glanced coldly at Zhao Zhong and the few lackeys behind him. What if I say no? The holy lady asked me to take care of the bath. You can go find the holy lady. Yo, yo. Zhao Zhong pinched the finger of the fireworks and landed on you, saying, You've learned to suppress our family with the holy lady so quickly. But you're still too tender. Do you think the holy lady can protect you? Hee hee, don't dream anymore. Go, take this guy. Zhao Zhong waved the floating dust in his hand and immediately followed the roaring eunuch towards the landing feather. Little Heisey, kneeling on the ground, was almost scared and crying at this moment. Perhaps finally realizing what Xiaowenzi died of. Lu Yu, run quickly and go find the holy lady to save her life. Xiao Heisey exerted the greatest courage and shouted at the landing feather. Zhao Zhong's four subordinates stopped talking nonsense and rushed towards the landing feather. The expression on his face became more and more vicious and abnormal. Zhao Zhong stood aside, sneering at Lu Yu, with a hint of mockery in his eyes. There is also a dark abnormality hidden deep inside. Some people say that the harem is the darkest and dirtiest place in the world. People who stay in this place for a long time feel sick in their hearts. And this disease needs to be treated with the pain of others. So, causing pain to others is a good medicine for oneself. The concubines of Gong Do are like this, and so are the palace maids and eunuchs. Looking at the four eunuchs rushing up. Lu Yu is not hiding his hands. Raising your hand towards the eunuch who is charging at the front is an elbow strike. Center the chin. The eunuch didn't even let out a mournful cry and flew backwards, with blood spurting out of his mouth and several yellow teeth. After an elbow strike, Lu Yu casually grabbed the hair of another eunuch. Press down with both hands and then push one knee. Bang! Click! A muffled sound mixed with the sound of bone fragments rang out. It's another person to the end. Watching such a fierce Lu Yu, the other two eunuchs were so frightened that they stood still and dared not move. Let these people bully and bully the soft persimmon shop. Have you ever encountered a hard stubble like Lu Yu? Zhao Zhong was stunned. Xiao Haizi was also stunned. No one expected that Lu Yu would dare to take action. On the contrary, you dare to take action. 
you dare to take action. Someone, go pass on the guards, Lu Yu is going to rebel. Zhao Zhong let out a scream. Lu Yu looked at Zhao Zhong without saying a word, his eyes flashing with a cold cold light, which made Zhao Zhong tremble with fear. You. You. Don't act recklessly. I am a person of nine thousand years old. If you dare to touch me, nine thousand years old will definitely destroy your entire family. Hee <laughs> hee. Lu Yu sneered coldly. I don't have a whole family. I'm going to move you today. However, it was not yet time for Lu Yu to take action. A palace maid walked in from outside the courtyard. Madame Sheng has an order to have Lu Yu quickly take care of the bath. Zhao Zhong was taken aback. Lu Yu turned around to take a look. The palace maid recognized was the one next to Kuinyue. With the summoning of Kuinyue, Zhao Zhong naturally dared not say anything. You. You wait. After leaving a harsh remark, Zhao Zhong left with a gloomy expression.